Hello, welcome to Credit Matters TV. This week, Noble Group and China's Kofco Group form an agribusiness joint venture. This transaction um, creates a lot of interest in the market. I'm here today with Cindy Huang, Associate Director of uh, Corporate Ratings of SMP, to talk about the credit implications for the Noble Group. Hello, Cindy. Welcome. Hi, Lillian. Um, so can you start with uh, talking about why is Noble forming this JV with uh, the, the Kofco? Sure. We think this is a significant asset recycling exercise for Noble. And um, we know that the company is very focused on maintaining an asset light balance sheet. So this is very in keeping with their strategy. Secondly, forming a partnership with Kofco, which is the largest buyer of agri products in China, will help this JV secure origination flows and secure higher volumes. And Noble having a 49% stake in this JV will benefit from this growth. Okay, so what are the credit implications for Noble then? Noble's leverage position will improve um, following this transaction. Um, Noble has had some pressures on the earnings in the past year, so this will help them relieve some of that pressure. Mm -hmm. um, we think that they will use the cash proceeds to reduce debt and fund future growth in working capital mm -hmm. and fund their commitments um, in X2 resources. Secondly, we think that the profitability of Noble is likely to improve going forward mm -hmm. because the agribusiness made a loss last year and has been mo most volatile compared to the other businesses. Okay, thank you. Then uh, what are the steps that SMP is monitoring before taking uh, into a rating action? Sure. The transaction um, needs uh, regulatory and shareholder approval, so we are monitoring um, progress towards these key milestones. And critically, um, SMP would need to see that Noble can operate at a lower leverage on a sustained basis before taking rating action. This could mean that the company could decide to adopt a more conservative financial policy and demonstrate higher stability in their earnings. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.